Sometimes I think, why is the town up there, in the mountains, when it is easier to put a town in the valley? But then, many towns in Spain are built in the mountains. I suppose it is because there are mountains almost everywhere in Spain. Looking down on the town of Alorra are the ruins of the fortress built 2,000 years ago by the Romans. All around are the orchards from which the people of the town earn their living. This land is very good land for growing oranges and olives. Most of the time it is sunny and warm and the river brings water from the mountains to irrigate the fields. This is a small story of a small town in a very old country, Spain. And it is the story of Spanish children, of Antonio and Paquita Perez and their burro Dolores. December in Andalusia, in the south of Spain. It is the time of the harvest, when everyone is as busy as they ever are in Andalusia. Antonio and Paquita and Dolores go each day to the Naranjal, the orange grove of their father, to help carry the oranges to market. Most of the people of Alora work in the orchards or have some orange trees of their own which have been in their families maybe since the Spaniards first took seeds from this valley to plant in the New World in Florida and California. The oranges are very heavy. I think one day those little legs of Dolores must surely break but she does not complain. The Spanish burros are very hard-working burros. At the Almacen, the warehouse, Dolores is unloaded, and the oranges are sorted and packed to send to other countries. For Antonio and Paquita and the people of the valley, the harvest time in December is the best time of the year. The money from the sale of the fruit will come, and soon there is Christmas. Lemons too are exported, and olives. Most of the olives will be crushed to make olive oil, and then the train will carry the oil and the fruit north to Madrid, the capital of Spain, or south to the sea to be loaded aboard ships. These three have not seen the sea. They have seen only Alara and this valley around. It is a long steep climb up to the town. People say it is such a happy town because it is so close to heaven. But I think this is not the reason. I think it is because in this town, the people have the sunshine of Andalusia in their hearts. Because here there is peace, we say tranquilo. And there is beauty. There are some who would say that the people of Alara are poor. But those who live here would not say so. The people of this town, you see, are muy español very Spanish. This means they are proud, so proud. They believe that as long as a person has dignity and honor, he can never be poor. 
Now I will tell you about this town. In the center is the center, the plaza, and the Casa Consistorial, the city hall. Here are the shops, the drugstore, and the grocery store. From the plaza, streets lead up and streets lead down between houses which are hundreds of years old, which shine always with a coat of fresh white paint. Most of the people live in the town and go out each day to work in the fincas, in the fields and orchards. The Catholic Church is the largest building in Alara. It is the largest in most Spanish towns. Most Spanish people are Catholic. Señor Guillermo Calderón, we think, is the richest man in town. He owns many huertos, many orchards. Señor Calderón is a very good man to know. He also owns the cinema. Juan Marque Infantes is the chief of police, but everyone calls him sheriff. This word they have learned from cowboy pictures. The Caja Postal is the post office, and just on the hill is the hardware store, the Ferretelia, which is owned by the family of Maria Elena Fernandez de Navarrete, the prima, the cousin of Antonio and Paquita. All day and all night, the men sit in front of the cantina, the cafe. They talk and drink the wines of Andalusia. It is a custom very much part of life in the Spanish towns. On the street named for Christopher Columbus is the house of Don Cristobal Perez, the father of Antonio and Paquita. Don Francisco Ruiz Salinas is the parish priest who lives on this street also. Don Cristobal Perez owns orchards. He is the manager of the bank he is a man much respected in Alara. They say Don Francisco has never lost the smile with which he was born. He smiles even when he scolds the people at Mass on Sunday. In the afternoon, Signora Perez sews on the patio. All Spanish houses have patios and mucho amor much love for the children. Before the cena, the evening meal, there is time to do many things, because the Spanish people do not like to eat until maybe nine or ten o'clock. While Paquita learns to knit, Antonio may feed the chickens, or the pigs, which are being fattened for Christmas. Often, very often, there is singing and dancing in the houses of Alora. The relatives, friends, everyone likes this very much. Andalusia is famous for its Spanish dancing, for flamenco, the style of dancing and singing which was born here. Lupe Valdez sings the best flamenco in Alora. And maybe one day, Paquita will be the best bailarina, the best dancer. She would like to be. When at last everyone has gone home, it is time to eat. Sometimes there is a big meal with soup and meat, sometimes only salad and fruit. Maybe you would like to know some Spanish words. 
padre. Mother is madre. Brother, hermano. Sister, hermana. And good night, buenas noches. School begins about 9 o'clock in the morning. It lasts until 12. Then it begins again at 3 and goes maybe until 5. In a Spanish schools, boys are separated from girls and a man teaches them. This morning, the maestro speaks of how blood circulates through the body. Y que se haya alojado en el interior del pecho. El corazón alcanza el tamaño de un puño y está dividido en cuatro cavidades, dos ventrículos y dos aurículas. In Paquita's class, there are only girls, and a woman teaches them. Gloria Hidalgo is reading. At 10.30, it is time for recreo, for recess. Dancing is for girls. Soccer is for boys. Soccer is one of the most popular sports in Spain. It is very quiet in Alora between 12 and 3. It is the time of the siesta when the shops close and the people sleep. Children take turns eating the midday meal at school. A different class each week. The government provides the food to be sure children eat at least one good meal a day and grow as they should. Antonio wishes to grow quickly so that he can be a Boy Scout when he is 12. The Boy Scouts hike through the mountains. They learn about the fortress which towers over the town, which has seen so much of a Spanish history. This fortress was built by the Romans before the time of Christ over 2,000 years ago. Then it was captured by the Moors from Africa, who ruled in Spain for more than 700 years. When the Moors were finally driven out, then Spain grew to become the greatest and most powerful nation in the world. In the mountains around Alara are many interesting places for Boy Scouts to go through tunnels, across bridges, and along the Camino del Rey, the Walk of the Kings, which hangs from the cliffside high above the river. These mountains, this valley, this town, this Alora, this is the world of Antonio and Paquita, of Don Cristobal and the Senora Perez. It is a small world, but we think it is a good one. If you came to this town, if you would meet these people, I think you would like them. They are sometimes too proud, but they have much honor. They are very Spanish, as is this town they live in, Alora. <laughs> <laughs>